So hello, everybody. This is the Women Empowerment Podcast, the She Trucking Podcast. And we have an amazing show for you. Just sit back, relax. If you're interested in the store, your own business, your own trucking company, you're going to get all the information that you need right here on the She Trucking Live Podcast. Is that you? It is. Okay. So we have two amazing, 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 amazing people on our podcast today. We have Truck It Right, Miss Shanti, and G is on. Everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 and thank you for joining us today. So, will you please introduce yourself? I'm G. Uh, I'm one of the CEOs of Often Transportations, uh, and uh, this is my wife. You guys all know who she is. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Shanti. So I'm co-owner of Hoffman Transportation. We have a dump trucking company based out in Los Angeles. And we just actually started a coaching um, webinar, seminar class. Yeah, for teaching you guys how to get into the dump truck business. I know you guys see all the dump trucks next to on the highways, probably by the airport, building homes. They're everywhere. So, yep, that's us. <laughs> I don't. So do you have a website? How do people find you? So we uh, we have a website. It's called HoffmanDumps.com. That's for our actual trucking company. And then we have our other website, TruckerRight.com. We host seminars, webinars. We have an online course. We do in-person training we have executive packages we even do turnkey businesses for those who don't have the time to do or take courses we'll start your whole business for you and even guarantee three checks awesome 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 so how what did y'all before trucking let's start there um how did you get into this industry tell us what you did before you start trucking you go first. Well, 2004, I started off as a longshoreman in Los Angeles, uh, the ports of San Pedro, Long Beach, Wilmington. Um, and I started seeing the vast, uh, in the end, how, 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 how serious the industry was with the transportation. And from that point on, I figured and I knew that this is something that I needed to do and utilize my longshoreman job as a tool to actually support our venture in the trucking industry. And myself, what did I do? I think I've done everything. You've done everything <laughs> under the sun. <laughs> so originally I'm from Miami and I moved to Los Angeles about, I can't even say 10 years ago. I always say 10 years. It's been like 20 years. About 13 years. Now. Yeah, 13 years. I actually had a concierge company um, I did event planning for entertainers and athletes. I also had a travel agency. So that's what I did for a majority of my 20s. And then after that, before we started the trucking company, I did everything. I got my, <laughs> I wanted to open a nail salon. So I got a manicurist license. I did a lot of marketing for big, uh, <laughs> for big auto dealerships. Yeah, I did. I did a lot of marketing. That's my forte. I, I, <sighs> I'm in real estate. I basically have every credential. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's out there. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> I didn't know, you know, sometimes you got to try everything to figure out what you really want to do or what exactly is your niche. So right. That's why I tell people it's never too late to figure out what you want to do. Right. So what brought y'all into the trucking industry? Like was it uh, who was in it first? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was in the industry already as a longshoreman, and uh, as it, some may not, may not know, longshoring is pretty much uh, import and export. So a bunch of container ships come into the ports, 
and we discharge containers and take them into the yard and all the big rigs come in and take them to wherever the desired location they're supposed to be in. And uh, that's where it all pretty much started from. And then one day I came back home to my wife and said, you know what, let's open, let's start, let's start opening up streams of income, um, not only for ourselves, but to, to better our family and our kids to make sure that they have another stream of income as well. And then I started really do it, it got deeper. I started noticing that the trucking industry has to do with everything. It's associated with everything in, in our realm of work from her real estate uh, to what, to whatever we wanted to do for transportation of cars and so forth and so forth. So everything we sat down and we started doing our math. We did like a, like a, like a, like an umbrella. And it started with the transportation and we seen all the other things that could fall underneath that category. And so it was, it was, it was definitely a go. And uh, that's what pretty much started us uh, in it. It was just the fact that I knew it was a very great industry to get in. And that is pretty much how the world is ran is basically with transportation. So it was a no brainer for us both. Right. So how many trucks do y'all have? We have five. Five trucks. Yes. And um, what made you choose dump trucks? So, well, originally when we first started our business, we had a hot shotting business. So for those that aren't familiar, it's a... Uh, it's pretty much like a LTL industry, less than load industry. Um, it, uh, it pretty much is... It, it, it breaks down in half of what an actual big rig uh, produces. So let's say a big rig, you do 80,000 pounds, hot shot is 40,000 pounds, but it's more expedited. It's more of an expedited industry. And, and, and that's where we pretty much started off with. And uh, we started seeing that uh, to make the money, I wasn't going to be able to be at home as much. And we looked at the dump uh, industry and I figured, you know what, this is something that I could do and and eventually put other drivers in and make extra streams of income and also open up doors for other people. But it was more so the fact that I could be home with my family and we could both kind of reap the benefits and sit back and try to start on other ventures. And and so pretty much, yeah, that was pretty much why we started and we looked into the dump industry. Yeah. Well, we definitely don't knock the hot shotting because our first year oh, we no. made like we made 250 profit. And um, because he was literally just he we had it when he says LTL, it's basically we had a Dodge 3500 pickup truck. Those are the big trucks. They were dualies with like two wheels in the back or four, six wheels. I don't know how no, many it was go. just it was four wheels in the back. It's it a looked, dually. Yeah, yeah, we had a trailer attached to it. And me and our son would just jump in the in the, the truck with him and just pull stuff onto the trailer. I mean, that's in so many ways I could say it. It's a great industry. But it just isn't just wasn't for us. It just yeah. didn't suit us. I think that every industry is a great industry pertaining to the individual. Depends on their lifestyle. It just depends on your lifestyle. And we know we like to kind of leave out of the state a lot and you know, travel. So we figured that it's a, it's it's easy, it's a easier, it's a manageable company, an industry for us. But you know, he didn't want to put a driver in it, so because nah. that was his baby, that truck. <laughs> Uh -oh. let's let's look into a dump truck because a couple of his buddies had dump trucks and you know you hear advice from so many different people and we said you know what let's just we go ahead in. and try it we dove in head head first and mind you guys um we used literally our savings to start this so we took a risk we were scared we're like are we i mean granted he was familiar granted we had friends in the industry but people really won't tell you everything. You really have to go out there and learn for yourself. So we used our last and we just dove in head first and here we are. That's awesome. That is so awesome. If you're just tuning in, we here with Truck It Right. We have Miss Shanti and Mr. G. They're on today talking about dump trucks, how to start a business, talking about their courses that they have that we're going to get into a little bit later. And thank you all for tuning in. Please share this out. Share it to every group 
every trucking group um, because this can help a lot of people. Definitely share this on your personal page to every trucking group. Please share, share, share. And if you're in the comments, we'll put share. I'm going to pick someone. We're going to do a giveaway on this show. So please share, share, share this video out. And I'm going to look at some of the comments. Hey, we got the trucking guru on here. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey Kiara. Um, hey, Christopher. Um, we got a question. Is dump truck less physical than OTR? You, you, you know what? It has its pros and its cons, but I'm going to say, yes, it's less physical because literally depending on what kind of over the road trucking that you're doing, because I did the over the road trucking and uh, you, and I, I had a flatbed. So you were dealing with strapping binders, uh, uh, chains, you're dealing with all that stuff. And as far as me and my Super 10 dump truck, I'm literally watching TV, pushing buttons all day. So, yes, it's definitely less physical. <laughs> yeah, you just sit in there. You don't yeah. even have to get out. I don't get out. I don't get out unless I need to just brush my tail off, get some dirt off the tail of my truck so I won't get a ticket. But other than that, uh, I'm inside my truck blowing AC. Or jumping in the bed in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you just pull up. They load you and just kind of throw the stuff in there. The day. Have a typical yeah. day. You want to I mean, hear a typical day? Yes. What is okay. a typical day? Yes. A typical day is me getting dispatched from her, uh, reaching out to other brokers, uh, going to the location early in the morning, 6 a.m. start usually. Um, but before that, I, I, I do like a little pre-trip around my truck at my yard. Um, I go to the location afterwards. Uh, I pull up underneath the bulldozer or, or exp uh, ex excavator. Uh, they load me up. Uh, I push a button, my tarp flies over, secures the dirt so it won't fly everywhere. I push another button and it's my drop axle. I drop my third axle and uh, I go to the location desired and I get there, dump it, dump it go back and go back. <laughs> it's like a hamster in a wheel. I feel, t I tell him, I'm like, I need to get my CDL. I could do this. Like it seems really Easy. I mean, I'm not going to say it it's is easy, easy, but I mean, it's, it's what you make it like. I make it an easy job. I'm not going to. It's, it's days where I am stressed out, but you can stay stressed out if you choose to. I just choose not to. I know it's much easier than when he was strapping all those things. On Definitely the, easier. On the other loads. I had a lot of bloody busted knuckles and uh, scraped up kneecaps. It was a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. I mean, try everyday trucking, you know, it's some hard days, some, you know, easy days. Yeah. You know, I think you that's good with the bad, though. Yeah. So do you drive a manual or your trucks manual or are they automatic? We have all of them. We have automatic and we have manual. Our first truck was a 389 Peterbilt Long Hood with a C15 uh, Caterpillar motor, 13 speed. They're probably like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they ain't like, huh? I know, no, they're they know truckers, no. <laughs> and then we have a, a, a 2013 386 Peterbilt with a Cummins automatic. It's an ultra shift automatic. And uh, I love it with the Eaton Fuller transmission, transmission. I love it. And our other trucks are pretty much the same as what I mentioned. That's awesome. All Peterbilts. Team okay. Peterbilt. <laughs> we love Peterbilt. <laughs> <laughs> so are you looking to hire drivers? Do are y'all interested? Oh, in yes. All the time. And how will how can people apply? I well, I have it. Go to my website, uh offendump.com or suckerite.com. You can email us there or you can message me on Instagram at Johnson Hoffman or Suckerite or Hoffman. We have every or Hoffman Transportation, or if you want my direct number, I'll give you our direct office number. I don't know if you can say something that you want to comment. Okay, tell me your website again. I'm going to plug it at the bottom. Okay, HoffmanDumps.com. HoffmanDumps. Yeah. Dot com. So if y'all interested, if you in the Cal, do they have to live in California? No, I mean, come on, if they want to relocate and, you know, we do, we would, I mean, we, we definitely need you to have a clean driving record because you know how insurance is, but I mean, that's the most important factor, a clean driving record. And if you go to HoffmanDumps.com, just go to contact and all our info is there. That'll just make it easier. Okay. 
Awesome. So if you're interested, there you go. There's the link right there on the page. We got the truck it right scrolling at the bottom. We have Huff, uh, Hoffmansdumps.com right there in the queue. So if y'all want the information, it's right there for you. I'm going to check some of these comments. How did they start their business? Hey, I was just getting to that. <laughs> so how did we start? I mean, he he. one day he came home and he said, you know what? I, I want to start a trucking company. I, I, I have I had no clue anything about the trucking industry. So I looked at him like, are you sure? I mean, well, let's rewind for a minute. So what happened was um, I wanted to do this trucking. I wanted to be in the trucking industry for a long time, mind you. So what I did do while I was a longshoreman is I got a job at the LA Times yeah. and I drove for them so I could learn the ins and outs. And mind you, they were only paying me $500 every two weeks. So it was a lot of sacrifice, blood, sweat, and tears to involved learn to learn the industry for myself because this is something that I wanted to do and I knew that it would pay off. So there were, I would literally get off of work from my other job as a longshoreman and I would start my route at the LA time in their box trucks um, at around 11 PM. And I worked to I only worked for like three hours, 11 PM to about 3 AM or so. And uh, I, I did that literally for two years and I wanted to get the experience to get on the road in a big vessel. So I said, you know what? I have to sacrifice and do what I have to do right now in order for me to succeed later on and, you know, make put smiles on everybody's face in our in my household. So that's where it really started from. And once I learned the ins and outs to that, as far as how the paperwork was supposed to you just just how to run a legitimate business. Um, that's where we pretty much started from. And then because she was not familiar at all with it. And I came back and uh, talked to her about it. She did her research and she just exploded with information and she came to me and started showing me all types of other different uh, ventures in the transportation world. And so we both came together and uh, we decided to jump into this dump truck industry. Well, the tr truck industry period. Yeah, after the sh hot shotting that one year, we decided let's go. Um, I needed my husband home. So we said, let's do the dump trucks. And the first year was tough only because we didn't know not to work with certain brokers, not to work with certain contractors, um, just a whole bunch of things that you, in any business, you're not going to understand until you go through it. So year three in trucking, but second year in um, the dump trucks, that's where like we said, wow, this is a lucrative business. I mean, by the third year, we, we were at what? How many trucks? Put it this way. We own all our trucks outright. Yeah. Yeah, outright. We don't owe any. We don't owe any. We don't owe any banks. We don't owe anybody. We, we outright pay, and 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 we did it for our secure. Some people uh, will say that's kind of dumb, but and I and I do agree with them to a certain extent because you do want to focus on your business credit as well. But we'll get into that later. But right now, for what we're talking about, we did it for security because I didn't want to not have any jobs and. At the end of the month, we're looking crazy when that $2,500 truck note is due, along with the huge amount of insurance that we have to pay. And the interest you're paying on the truck yeah. at the end of the year. So, but I mean, there's pros and cons <laughs> on owning your truck outright or financing, because if someone did tell us, hey, we need 50 trucks, but hey, where's the business credit? We own our trucks outright. So there's pros and cons, but we did what we did and we're happy. We sacrificed and everything is on point right now, pretty much. Okay, so I wanted to show them the website. So this is the Hoffman's Dump website um, where you can go on, you can learn more. I'm going to scroll through it a little bit. I'm going to tell you the services, different things, talk about the equipment, hauling projects and all that stuff. And like they said, if you want to apply for a job, it's right here on the website as well. Yeah. So um, I wanted to make sure that I pulled that website up for you all to see mm -hmm. as well. When I tell you their branding and their, I mean, I, the marketing on this is just amazing. Okay. So that lets you know when a company invest in the way that it looks they care about i feel like they care about their products they care about their company they care and so it, it makes a difference so i just want to show people exactly what you're gonna see on the website 
and how easy it is to apply and get services, sign up for classes. I'm going to bring up the other um, as well. I'm going to bring up the other website as well once we talk about classes um, as well. So okay. but anyway, um, if you're tuning in, definitely this is Truck It Right right here. So we have Miss Shanti and we have Mr. G on as well. Um, definitely leave a comment. And I'm going to look at, we got a lot of comments, y'all. So I'm going to try to get to all of them. Um, we just talked about how y'all got started in the business. And now I want to ask, what advice do you give people if they want to start a business? Like how much money should they have? Overhead wise, it all, like I said, it all depends on the circumstance. Um, but just flat out for anybody to get in the industry, we definitely we 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 would off we would say that you need a a hefty overhead because you have huge expenses. So I'm gonna just shoot out maybe 70. I I would probably say about seventy grand overhead. And I and I'm being and I'm being real careful because uh, you have to fund you have to fund your business. You have I to mean, fund your business for the first few months. The only downfall I would say on dump trucks is. Um, you sometimes, a majority of the time, you will not get paid anywhere from 30 to 60 to 90 days. So 90 days, you're funding your trucking business. This is in the beginning because basically if you're coming in with nothing, it's hard because you're going you're gonna to keep being in a hole. If you have other sources of income, you'll be fine because that'll fund your actual trucking business. But if you're just saying, hey, I want to start dump trucks, make sure you have that overhead. It's different than o over the road because you can factor and get paid in two days and get your money right back. But with dump trucks, can't you can't dirt. factor because they want, they want to see that th they want to see that you're going to get paid in 30 days, anything past 30 days. I'm not going to say you can't factor. There are some companies that do it, but I mean, it's very rare because they don't want to wait 90 days for your check for you to pay them back. So that's the only thing is that have overhead in the beginning because you still have to pay your drivers weekly. You have to pay truck parking. You have to pay the insurance. Fuel. And if you have a, a truck note, you have fuel. So we, we would say starting off just have 70 grand, 70 to 100 to be safe. Well, you know, like I said, it depends on the circumstance. I'm not going to shy people away with the 70 grand because I know if you are business savvy and know how to manage, have, have, have proper money management skills, you can start off with about 30,000 in your account and make it work, but you have to be, you have to put your foot on these broker's throat in order to get your check. You have to be very adamant, but business savvy. Not, not saying you have to go over there and choke people out, but you have to mean business in the industry because it will eat you up and it'll spit you right out. Favorite line. <laughs> hey, it is the yeah. truth though. Even the government contracts though, you know how it is and with government contracts, they take sometimes a little bit long to pay, but that's in every industry. So it's a very lucrative business, but just, you know, you have to have the cash flow and you have to know how to save your money so that way it funds. Awesome. 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 Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to get into some government contract stuff a little bit later. I want to get to some of these questions. If a driver want to come work for you, how much experience do they need? Three years. Yeah, we asked it for three years. It used to be two years, but we need, we need, we need for everybody to be uh, happy around the board. Uh, we need three years just because of the insurance costs. Like I can't, like we've done the numbers. So we know for a fact, three years is going to suit everybody as far as our and insurance being lower and you know their pay could, won't be played with their pay. They can get paid with their work at the end of the day. Right. Okay. So three years, everybody. And then, um, is the dump truck industry good? all across the country or do a uh, strictly uh or do they, they want to know do you strictly deal in california it's it's everywhere but you the rates are different california you're getting anywhere from 80 to 90 to 100 an hour 150 yeah texas we heard they're getting 65 an hour 70 an hour indiana 75 an hour Atlanta, they're getting 70 an hour. Florida, they're getting anywhere from 60 to 70. I mean, the hourly is good, but it depends on the weather. It just depends. Really and truly, it's the cost of living. It's where you at. It all balances itself out. I don't care whether the numbers are high in California and they seem low in Florida, but at the end of the day, the cost of living is it's all going to be the same because, uh, the, you know, the housing out in Florida, for one, 
is cheaper than it is in California. Same so it all, ba- Georgia. Yeah, it all balances itself out at the end of the day. So you don't shy yourself away when you hear big numbers here. You just has to, it's, it, it has to be an economical decision at that point. It has to make sense. It's going to make sense. Awesome. Thank you for that. Um, another question we have, would it, would it be better to get your own truck or lease with the company? Just know if you lease with the company, you're paying a percentage. Um, to, is he, are they saying, wait, get your own truck or lease, un, uh, like lease under someone's authority? Is that what they mean? Is that an over the road question? It may be an over the road question. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, if, it, if it's an over the road, we're going to touch, we'll touch both of them just to make sure. If it's a over the road question, it's all, it all depends on uh, it, your lifestyle, if you could afford that. I know a lot of people who buy rigs and uh they 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 lease on to companies right there you cut out the cost of because people can't afford their own authorities people can't afford and some people don't want the 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 headache headache of having an authority so yeah i i would say it's a great thing to do but then again it has to do with your lifestyle that's something that you want to do um i'm always for owning my own truck because at the end of the day just as i could wake up and go to work for somebody else why wouldn't I want to get up and go work for myself? So it's all, it has its, it's a both, it's both a win win situation. Oh, oh, okay. One of the guys said leasing with a company like Swift. Um, you could lease with a company, you know, but at the end of the day, just know that you're paying percentage. You're paying a percentage. So what you don't pay for your own authority and to secure yourself and invest in yourself, you're going to pay to somebody else. And it's just that simple. Yeah. I mean, it just, like you said, it depends on your lifestyle. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, Cause there are your first two years, uh, your fees are much higher. So that's why a lot of people just rather lease on because you know, when you do start your authority, I mean, your insurance is much higher. Um, everything is higher when you start a new business. Even if you try to get a loan, the is- interest rates are higher. Some insurance companies will not insure you uh, as a new entity and sometimes it is better for you to go lease on to a company. It's beneficial. It's so many, it's so many avenues that go with that that will make it make sense for you. Like just what I said is as far as uh, not being able to uh, afford your own authority. So some things it plays hand in hand, not having not being able to be insured by certain companies. So it does play hand in hand with you just it might be easier for you to go lease onto a company. It's just, it's less expensive, put it that way. Okay. And our next question. (laughs) Um, Where do you find the brokers? Did you make payments on the first truck or you pay for the others? So we are, so basically the first truck we made payments and then we were able to pay it off very fast. And then that's what, paid off all the other trucks, basically the profit. And where do you find brokers? I mean, I mean, word of mouth, you're not going to, it's weird. You don't find, you can't Google a dump truck broker. It's so weird. When we first started, I was Googling like dump truck brokers. How do I find brokers? You can't find them. You have to, it's word of mouth. It's getting out of your truck, talking to contractors on the, on the highway or anywhere. It's just marketing yourself. You're not going to find them online. It's You might find one or two, but you really have to just, it's word of mouth. Wherever you see, wherever you see construction, a pile of dirt, a pile of rocks, a pile of gravel, a pile of anything, you better go get up and talk and try to figure it out. That's so Ms. Taylor said, how long are the hauls for dump trucks? Depends. It could be. How long are the what? The hauls. Like, oh, you, it, it all depends on. Uh, where you're dumping. It all depends on where the broker has a contract with the dump site at like wherever you have a uh a, 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 what a is load it? no a, a, i'm having a brain fart excuse me uh a con what is it where you have uh i'm not i can't even think of it when you have a with the dump sites a contract with the dump B-O-L? site well i don't no. know oh whatever wherever you have a wherever that broker has bi- does business with Whoever, whatever dump place the broker does the business with, that's where you dump those loads at. So the hauls could range from you might be on a road just to go dump 
uh, a load two hours. So your turnaround time would be like four hours. So that count that accounts that that goes with you. Like that's what you want in this industry because you get paid by the hour. Sometimes you get paid by the load, but you get paid by hourly. So you want to kind of stack those hours up as much as you want. What's the price? Chris, what's up? We can't wait to see you. We know that you are signed up for our workshop Saturday coming up. And I just wanted to say thank you. And we can't wait to see you and meet you. But uh, here's the question. What's the price range you set for finding? Uh, it depends in different states. But what would you say the, the price range is for a used good dump truck? A used good dump truck? I would say from... And you could, we could talk about Freightliner and all the other Yeah, ones. I'll talk about all of them. You could get out of state is the best bet. Um, California is high. I bought all of my trucks out of state. I bought one of them in uh, the state of California, but majority of my stuff was out of state. So I got a great truck with uh, great miles. I paid about 40000 for that truck. And then after that, we uh, built the box on top of that. So it was like... Eight ninety thousand, and that was a Peterbilt. But you could get them for twenty five thousand. The Freightliner, you know, two thousand thirteen, with good in great condition, you know. Right. So cool, cool. You, know, you don't need to buy a new truck. You can, but I wouldn't suggest it. They're yeah. like two fifty and up. At the end of the day, when you're on a job site, that old beat up truck is gonna make the same amount of money as your two thousand twenty. That you're paying twenty five, uh, that you're paying over two hundred thousand for. So it's all at the end of the day, you can either be a business deal, like as far as a good business venture, or it can be something where you know you just want to look good, you know, and, and and have something a little bit more dependable. Though I tell you that much. So, um, I want to take this time because a lot of the questions are going to what you already teach you know the courses and stuff like that I know we but, can't give out all the info <laughs> yes yes i want to definitely you know take this time to go into that if you can tell them about your courses like what you have coming up and stuff like that um just go into detail of what they will learn when they do um sign up for your courses and where they can go and find them okay so we on on our website truckerright.com which she has scrolling on the bottom we have a six week course and it talks, it starts from uh, the first week of, it's an online course. It's learn at your own pace. So you could do it all in a week or you could do it once a week. It's basically an hour and a half or it, it, it's your own pace. So as fast as you want or as slow as you want. And it starts from whether you should get an LLC or a corporation or a DBA. I mean, we're not uh, accountants or CPAs, but this is just stuff that we did. And we start from there to the authority, to types of trucks, to how to find loads, how to get certified as a minority or a woman, um, and how to do your invoicing and bill of lading. So that's what we do for our six-week course. Our workshops, we show you hands-on as well. Um, it's basically the course in a nutshell and more it's and you get to meet us and we get to talk to you face to face and you get to ask as many questions as you want. So because so many people message us with questions and it's like, you know, let me save it for the workshops. And so now at the workshops and the seminars, you could ask as many and pick our brains. And that's with that. And then we also have a four week in person um, class in Los Angeles where uh, Garen will be teaching everything you need to know about the trucking industry in a month. And he even takes you to the trucks and you guys could even jump in and do loads with him. Um, it's a little bit more um, hands on for those because we know a lot of people don't just want to read or come to the seminars. They want to be hands on. So, yeah, we have a few things going on, but we do have a workshop in Orlando this coming Saturday, January 18th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And we'll be teaching you everything, all the questions, that like what trucks to get, how to find the loads. We'll be in detail with it. Yep, press purchase tickets. So I'm bringing up the website now. Um, you can go to truckyright.com to sign up for the workshop. Um, could you tell them about the special you want to, you know, the uh, oh. uh, anyway? So yeah, so this is for you ladies. We are giving away two free tickets for, 
for you ladies. Um, and But basically, you would have to go on either Truck It Right or Shanti Hoffman on Instagram and just tag a girl that you want to bring and one good characteristic about yourself. And um, that's basically what it is. So if you're interested, check it out. Awesome. And it's going to be in Orlando, Florida? Yep, it is. This Saturday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. So a lot of good information and goodies that you guys will learn. And if you want to go ahead and talk about the gala, I have brought up the gala as well. Okay. So in L.A., on March 14th, we have a lot of hosts in the building. Um, she trucking, are you coming? Absolutely. At she trucking will be in the building. That's the coming. <laughs> we got we have she trucking, we have trucking hustle, we have the trucking guru, we have hood estates, we have the compass circle, we have um power push weight, we have um we even have Peterbilt. They'll be sponsoring, and I also have um a few liquor sponsorships too so this is going to be a fun event don't drink and drive though yeah so I, have, <laughs> I have everyone you guys probably follow and that you love um coming into one room because you know what dump trucks might not be for you you might prefer over the road or you might prefer uh just a you might prefer dispatching you might pre prefer brokering there's just so many different lanes in the transportation industry that we might fit for you so you will hear you know there will be a panel of everybody you know speaking about what their services are and what they teach and then from there on it's a party you'll be able to network you'll be able to socialize and it's in los angeles so it's a trip and you get to network so that's mm -hmm. a big one we're excited for yes so much fun and so much knowledge and this is empowerment y'all they are what made you decide to start teaching because um you know i can say i've been in this industry i'm let me um get the screens back on this, as y'all see you can go right to the website to the connect event if you want to join um i have it up on the screen and it's at the truck it right dot com as you see so it's just so simple y'all so y'all can be a part um what made you want to start teaching and you know people and have a course because um when i started i didn't see people teaching and you know and stuff like that i because i guess social media wasn't uh uh really out there like that and so i just want to know what made y'all take that step to start educating people every day our phone rang yeah every day the phone was ringing and being in this industry everybody's real they, they withhold a lot of information. They don't want anybody to know anything. And I kind of found that a little strange. I understood why, and it was to keep the actual industry uh, as low as possible with the trucks in it. So I guess they wanted to eat a lot more, but in my eyes, I'm like, yo, like there's so much work out here. Why would you want to withhold any information from people? There's and a shortage. So it's a shortage as a matter of fact. And I was like, these guys are really kind of being being a little selfish with stuff because it happened to me too. And I told myself, I said, once I get into this industry and start understanding it a little bit more, I would like to shed the light amongst a lot of other people because you have people that's been in the penitentiary, you know, locked up that looking for that second chance or people that dropped out of high school that's looking for that second chance and, and nobody's just sitting there willing to give it to them. So I'm like, you know what? talk to my wife and because our phones were blowing up after once we got the the, 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 see, the, the knowledge yeah the start road. seeing our trucks and start seeing that we were actually doing it and and we're touchable though like we're very touchable we're not um these sadity people that turn our nose up no we shake hands you could call me like we're very 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 open to people and once people started seeing that they started blowing our phones up and so it was to a point where I started, we started having to schedule appointments to talk to our own friends. And so we just said, you know what, let's just set it up. Let's set up an arena where we could put everybody in it and just tell everybody at once what's going on. And then we took that platform and people out of the state were hitting us up. And so we were like, you know what, let's just, let's just, turn let's just business. turn this thing into a business. And that's pretty much what we did. You know, my wife, she marketed the crap out of us and it took us to another a whole another realm to where the people that were withholding the information at home they're even reaching out to us i remember i know some of the like the the the, the guy that the company that first brokered our first job 
He calls me and my wife for information now. And so at the end of the day, it goes to say, if you, you got to stick your face in whatever you do in life, you have to put your face in that book and understand it. You have to sit yourself down in that driver's seat, drive that truck, understand the, the whole logistics of it. You, whatever you whatever you do in whatever industry, you better be hands on and be certified to do so. So you won't you won't miss a beat. And that's just that's how it all started. And that's that's where we're going with it. We're going we're going we're going way more. We're going much further uh, than where we are right now as well. So this is just only the beginning. Someone asked, do you have seminars in Texas? Are you planning on coming to Texas? We are. When, I don't know when. I will let you guys know. Right now, it's just Orlando and LA, but we will be planning something. Two more states this think, coming year. I think we will be doing Texas next um, after Los Angeles because, you know, California, Texas, and Florida is like the top uh, three states in the, with the tra in this transportation industry. So I'm going to throw the questions up at the bottom. Um, do you have, hold on. It says, do you have to have a 8A in place to get government contracts? Honestly, actually, we start first by introducing government yeah. before we even go to that question. Um, for people who don't know anything about it. Okay. What the government. So we actually did, we're, we are certified. We're, uh, we are a minority owned company. We are a woman owned company. We are probably every certification possible. Honestly, uh, the contracts are not my forte. Um, we had someone actually help us through the con government contracts because they are extremely confusing. They ask a lot of questions. I'm a very savvy admin paperwork woman that knows her stuff, but when I saw these, when I saw the contract, it, I literally sat for a year on it because it was confusing. So um, we have the certifications, we get, we bid on contracts, we do everything, but um, that's basically. Yeah, from, from what I uh, know, I don't want to give out any false informations. No, you do not have to have an A8 to get a government contract. You just have to be DBE, WBE, or SB, uh, SBE. SBE certified. Um, as a minority, as long as you make under 1.4 million a year, you could be DBE. You could be, you could be DBE. You could be totally fine with getting the government contract. But there's ways around that. There's ways right? around. You got to come to our workshop to learn how to, if you are making 1.4 above, how to still be certified. We can't give all the goodies out. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, and so our next question says, what type of trucks would you recommend buying first to start off if you aren't financially ready to start a cost of dump trucks? Uh, OTR? I would go I would go o OTR. I would go over the road. Um, go get you a single piece of equipment. You don't even have to buy a trailer. Lease on to uh, those trucking companies, uh, Amazons, the Walmarts, the, you know, the, you know, big companies and, and, and get get your bag up and get the experience, get the experience because that right there is going to be your almanac. It's going to be your guide to success without having to lose a lot of money. So I will go with over the road and figure it out and get, you know, and it also builds your miles up on the road too. experience on the road. Okay, our next question is, will you be at Max 2020 or Gats 2020? Huh? Which is, I don't know. I don't, what that I, don't, is. I don't know what either one of those are. It's enlighten, enlighten us. We don't know everything. I'm going to tell you that. We're, we're not gurus. We just talk through experience and uh, what we went through. And we're here to learn. We're, we're here to learn. To learn. I mean, uh, it's profitable, our business, it's lucrative. We're, I mean, we're happy. But I, I mean, I, we don't know everything. So enlighten us. So Max is the Mid American Truck Show, and it, they have it every year in Louisville, Kentucky. Is this year between? Um, I think it's from the 26th through the 28th. 
in Louisville. And it's a big convention. I think it's over 100,000 people that show up for this truck show. I definitely recommend y'all go. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. Send me the info. I will. I definitely will. It's free. I don't know why we don't know about it, but I mean... <laughs> With, hey, whoever that, whoever that Facebook user is, thank you for the information. Yes. Thank you, she, for enlightening us. That 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 helped us out a lot. Yeah, because it's it's really valuable to go, and then you connecting with people. You know, you networking and connecting. So, and it's the that's the largest one in the United States. So then the second one is in August. Um, it's at the end of August, and that's the Great American Truck Show, and that's in Dallas, Texas. So I'll send y'all information on both. Please do. Definitely, you have. I mean, because it would be even good if y'all could even do a course there. Yep. In a hotel, something like that, while the show's going on, because there's so many drivers there. Exactly. So I'll send you everything. And thank you for that question. That was an excellent question. Um, we have, um, I wanted to read this one as well. Um, one of the guys said, they love your realness. Um, I, uh, Mr. Solomon said, I met them. I met with them. They definitely know the dump truck game. Hello, Mr. Solomon. What up, what up Mr. Solomon? <laughs> <laughs> so look at, they saying, please come, please come. They want you to come on. We'll be there. We'll be there. We have to bring one of our trucks. Um, actually you don't, you can okay. bring your truck if you want to, they have free truck parking or you can just come like literally mm -hmm. just come on. Yeah. Yeah. We just, okay. I know. <laughs> so truck, you don't really, um, you know how like you can go to an event and just take your OTR, pick up a load and then it's drop nothing. it off. Dump they got to stay at home and make some money. Right. So I would suggest for the first one, it's so big, just fly in. Okay. <laughs> it's we'll a workshop. Yeah, and it's kid friendly and everything. Oh, so. Our son is always with us. <laughs> I definitely want to touch on that. So a lot of women they they talk about, hey, I, you know, I don't want to go OTR or I don't uh, want to get my CDLs because I have kids. So if you can talk about how dump trucks are a great industry to go into, you know, to drive um, a dump truck when you do have a family, can you touch on that for me? Yeah, well, if if there is a woman and she's driving and she's doing, let's say, the daytime shift, because with dump trucks, you could you could run your truck in the morning, like from 6 a.m., be home by 3 p.m., and then you could have another driver run it at night, which is typically like 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. So if she is driving that first shift, she can still make it in time to where they go to school and then pick and she still has time with them after school like she's home like she could be there to make him breakfast and be there to make him dinner or she could or if 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 the, her child is homeschooled there's a whole you could get a, a whole bed back there you could put a sleeper on there and, and, and bring your baby with you if you need if need be it's all an adventure like and that's what we focused on we wanted to set it up not only for financial freedom but to to, to spend time in 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 and wrap and engulf ourselves into our son's life and you know mold him into the person we wanted him to be not just the school system so if, by the if, way he's homeschooled yeah, my, our son is, he's homeschooled he's six years old so yeah. we run multiple businesses and then we still i still have we still have time to take care of our crazy six-year-old yeah so i mean honestly the sky's the limit it just as as the more you hustle and the more you you want to build an empire and leave a legacy and leave things behind for your children. You just have to go hard. Like I'm exhausted right now, but we, we keep going and going. It's all about the information. The more you can inform yourself about certain things, the more you can make it easier for yourself. And my heart goes out to a lot of the hard, like I give so much props to a lot of the hardworking women out here that, um, that are actually out here doing it and making it happen. And that's what it's about. Like it's not, a, it's, it's, it, People look at us and think just because we have trucks, you know, we are rich or we are this, we're that. And that's not the case. What it is is that what we put in is what we actually get in out. And for a woman, you know, or for a single man, for whoever you are, whatever you put into anything that you do, though, when you plant those seeds, you got to, at some point, those seeds are going to grow into beautiful trees or flowers or roses or whatever you want to say. So it's whatever you put into this and it's what you're going to get out. So just do your, just, just be very informative and do your due diligence in whatever industry you get yourself into 
and 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 run with it, run with it, and don't listen to what everybody say. Do the opposite. Put it all in your own formula. I love it. I love it. Awesome. So that's what I tell people. This is another alternative. You know, you don't have to drive the 53 footers. You know, that's the first thing that we learn. But you can have a class B, right? CDL. That's all that's required for yeah. a dump. Up. And you can run your dump. And you can take care of your family. You can go home every night. It's local. You know, as he said, you can be clean with all white on and drive a dump truck. Okay, he's going to fly. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a statement. It's a lifestyle at the end of the day. You know, I want to I want yeah. people to know that you don't have to be dirty with 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 boots on and, you know, and, and Pendleton's. You can jump out in some Yeezys, some 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 Nike tech fleece sweats and a T-shirt. You know, yeah. it's all about what you want to do. I'm, I want to make, make my job fun. This is fun to me. Yes. And throughout the year, um, to our audience that's listening, thank you all for tuning in. Throughout the year, I'm going to be dropping jewels for, with them about how, you know, about the dump truck business. So you can apply for these jobs. So you can be local, be home more. Because um, like I said, we all, we just been exposed to the semi truck. You know what I'm saying? So they need to learn how to, yeah, you know. Talking about the dump trucks. It's so crazy. It's like a secret world. But you it see is. them everywhere. It is. And you can just be a company driver. You know, I just, right. I, you know, be a company driver and drive. You know, they need drivers right now. So, you know, definitely apply and jump out there and you won't regret it. So I want to talk about, like, what's the pay range? Um, let's talk about the pay range for being a owner and the pay range for a company. So, I mean, as a company driver. So if we can talk about company driver pay and um and or if you just own your own company, you know. So let's talk in California terms. Um, so with let's say averagely your you hourly the truck will make let's just say like ninety an hour. Say so ninety. Ninety an hour. And uh, that's a yeah ninety an hour low ball, and then we pay our drivers depending on experience anywhere from eighteen to twenty five an hour. Every week. Yeah. That's awesome. See, it's the it's pretty much the same. I mean, you're still, same. yeah, the drivers are still. I mean, there uh, are drivers. Are, you could still make like a thousand a week, and you're home by two, three p.m. I know some of my <laughs> friend drivers who drive for people. They're making almost five grand a month, and I feel like that's good when you break down the hours they actually work. They're home by two, three o'clock. Like they get sick. Look, think about this. You start at six a.m. Right? You get your. They sign you out literally. For your last low on majority, not all of them, but a lot of the jobs, they sign you out at around 11, 12 p.m. You know, 11 a.m., 12 p.m. They sign you out. You're done. You so, have eight hours. You, so, it, yeah, and you're still getting paid for eight hours. And you, it's just up to you on that last low to go, you know, do your dump. And then after that, you know, it's done. But pretty much you signed out at 12. So if you're just tuning in, we're here with Truck It. Right. We got Miss Shanti and we got Mr. G. They've been dropping jewels left and right, giving us. Uh, listen, if you want more of this, go to truckitright.com. Sign up for the workshop. OK, J go to let Look, they have a right now in Orlando. Right. You can go on and go to the workshop and go ahead and get this knowledge and get things done. This is 2020, the year of clear vision. So make it th this. This is the clear vision right here. You know, you go ahead Where and sign up. The like, like, like he'll tell you, like he's like when you come to our workshops or you meet us in person for consultations, he's not going to tell you the good stuff. Yeah, you're going to make money. He's going to tell you, you you're going to have a flat tire. You're going to have a, a driver who is not who I, calls off. You're going to have issues. He tells you right. all the time. I just want to stray away the people who are serious and the people who are just here to blow smoke and just get a conversation. My time is valuable. I'm not an a-hole. I'm none of that. I'm just about my business. And, you know, and it, mean, this, it means a lot to me, you know. So I just kind of like to weed away. So I talk about all the cons. And when I see people still gravitate to the industry, I know they're serious. And then I kind of take my foot off their neck and I just expose everything, you know, at a, at a, at a, at a pace that they could understand. Yeah. 
So if y'all have any more questions, drop them now because I know that I y'all are very, very busy. And I, you know, I'm so thankful that y'all came on today to drop these jewels. I'm gonna, we got about maybe 10 minutes. And then we're off of here, y'all. So this is the empowerment. <laughs> this is the empowerment. So if you interested in starting your business, starting a dump truck business, a semi-truck business, if you want to learn more information, like I said, you want to go to truckitright.com. I also, we also own a real estate company in Beverly Hills. I am hiring real estate agents. Um, I, I, I know when we talk about the trucking, we, we always like veer off and forget to talk about our other businesses. Because it but, has a lot to do with the trucking. Yes. Well, what, our dump truck. We work with a lot of new construction homes. So they use our truck. So that's where, you know, it goes hand in hand. So if you're looking for a lifestyle real estate company, we are hiring real estate agents. We're in the heart of Beverly Hills on Rodeo. So definitely just contact me on the way she's been telling you. And uh, let's talk. Wanted to say that before we got off. Can't forget about that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, let's see. You know, I I made a big old little list of questions. And <laughs> I know, I know you. <laughs> I've been checking them off. Like, all right, all right. It's so it's good. So the only thing that I have left. Well, first, do you have anything that you want to say before I go to my last two? Here's the quote. I forgot. Wait, is the quote now or later? I'm going I'm getting ready to go. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, so I was gonna ask, what advice do would you give drivers or people that are people someone that's not even in the truck industry that maybe want to own? So could you share some knowledge and advice? for to them like let's just leave that and then we're gonna go to our quote because y'all know if you listen to the women empowerment podcast on blog talk radio or spotify y'all know i love leaving a quote okay so we love to leave it with the positive quote at the end we're gonna get to that at the end um like i said follow them on instagram facebook um or y'all on linkedin I need to step my game up on that. I'm on, we're on Instagram, Facebook. You know what? I keep giving like my Instagram. His Instagram is Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I have a beard line, Lord Jesus. Yeah, we even too. have a beard. We have a beard oil he came out with. You see, it's so shiny. <laughs> Girl, we got a lot going on. I, I, but we do. I know a lot of the truckers have the beard, so you gotta you gotta stay looking good and looking and smelling good and looking good. I mean. Love, yeah. love your job. The beard game. The beard game. The beard game. <laughs> so definitely follow them on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, go to Truck It Right, um, and HoffmanDumps.com. Yes. So, and I'll put I'll be sharing throughout the week as well. And um, I'm also if you the, I know she tribe, she tribe, if you're tuning in, I'm gonna put their information up under our units tab. So anytime that you want to go back and it may be a year from now or whatever, it might be 30 days, the their information is going to be up under the link of in our group up on the unit. So you'll be able to get this information anytime that you're ready. Um, and like and like I said, we're, we're so thankful for having y'all come on. If you can leave a word of advice for anyone that's interested in getting into the industry or. Yeah, and getting into the industry or or a driver that may be ready to start their own trucking company. Word of advice is uh, come to a workshop. We will go in full detail on how to start it. I saw a lot of questions on there, but it's only fair for the people that paid it to come to our workshop and seminars to teach some of the stuff, you know, top secret. Yeah, so I mean, call us, email us. Message us, let us know that you want to start, and we will put you in the right direction. We are very transparent and we make the process as seamless as possible. Thank you so much. We, I got a question. It said, Can you add a dump onto a semi? Yes. Yeah, that's what we did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's the cheapest way. So if it's a Volvo, like an old regular old Volvo, not the big wide one, can you put a Volvo and a dump together? <laughs> and I ask you that because I know you can do Freightliner. I know you, I see the KWs, I see the Peaks, but what about a Volvo? You'd be amazed at what you see out there working because yeah. industry, yeah, that like 
like the I know a lot of guys. I ain't gonna keep you too. I know we got a little bit of time, but a lot of guys that were hauling containers, the container industry on the West Coast got real slow. So they needed to figure a niche out and they were stuck with these notes. So it was gonna be hard to sell. So what they did, they took their Volvos, Straight Liners, Internationals, uh, Peterbilts, K dubs, whatever, and converted it into a dump truck. So you see these Volvos with these huge sleepers with a fit with a 17 inch dump box on the back, still getting to work. So there's no excuse for anything. You just execute everything. And that's just what it is. Yeah, if, if you don't have if you can't get your dream truck right now, work towards it. Work towards it. So, and don't let and don't let anyone scare you in this industry. People will tell you, "Oh, it's not a right time for trucking industry. Oh, we're going to hit a recession. Oh, like you're a woman, can you handle it?" Don't let anybody tell you nothing. Don't figure the crowd out. Figure your own niche and 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 figure just figure it out. You have to figure it out. Be creative. Creativism, creativity was the one is the one thing that made us flourish in the industry. Being creative and stepping outside of the box. That's why we're in the place and position that we're in right now. Thank you for that. And uh, one more. I'm sorry. I keep saying one more thing. One more thing. <laughs> Um, I want to talk about the hands-on because I noticed a lot of people do courses. They do different things. They teach so much. And it's, sometimes it's not hands-on. I'm a hands-on type of girl. Could you talk about that hands-on program that you have? Yeah. So the hands-on program is basically, if it's mainly for people in Los Angeles because obviously unless you want to travel there for a month, um, you will you will basically in this course you will leave with an authority you will have your business basically if you're doing a corporation or an llc you will um do a, a ride along with garrett with g you will learn with me how to uh, fill out the bill of ladings and invoicing you will basically leave with a turnkey business in this four week course course it does we haven't put it on our website yet because we're finalizing everything it's a new year so obviously we will we always like to update our courses with because there's different laws now so it's basically a turnkey business in a month and we guarantee your first few checks yeah like we're, we'll help find your 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 jobs, your see what brokers help get you contracted and certified. I mean, so hey, that to me that is the best. That's the best one. People want the hands on. I mean, yeah, you could do a online course, but you're still gonna have. That's how the courses are set up. You're still gonna have some questions, but if you have the hands on when you're you're meeting the teachers every day, and then you're going to look at the trucks, and then you're gonna go to Peterbilt or to K Dub or to Freightliner and go see what type of truck it is. It's like having like wow, you're having someone hold your hand throughout the process. I love it. I love it. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're tuning in, thank you all. This is Truck It Right. Um, y'all better drop a comment on a, and a like and a love. Y'all better share this video out. Every Sunday, we come on, we bring different entrepreneurs, different, man, the biggest people in the industry. We have Truck It Right right here, you know, <laughs> on every Sunday. So this is the empowerment. This is right here. It's the empowerment. It's the knowledge that you need to get you to you know to help you meet your dreams and your vision right and i see a lot of our clients in the comments so we love you all thank you so much we see people that have been to past workshops that are coming to workshops consultation clients i mean thank you for supporting us uh, and trusting in us we appreciate you because without you guys we wouldn't be able to be here to you know drop the gems Yes, and we thank you for taking the time to do it. You know, we, we so appreciate you. And so if you can leave, if y'all can leave us with a quote. All right. I'm gonna leave the camera. I, hey, okay. You know, life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. So goes back to what I just said earlier about the creativity. You have to create yourself a tunnel and you have to, Fight yourself to get to that light on the end of that tunnel. So we have to be creative. Um, either you can go in that tunnel with darkness or you can put some LEDs in there and have a bright, a bright future at the end of it. So I, I highly recommend everybody to find and dig deep within themselves to get that creativity out and, and, and take off and execute your dreams. And just know, just because if you know someone that has a trucking company and theirs isn't doing well, 
you can't think, you know what? Mine might not do well because you know how many stores have, sell the same stuff, but one business may be doing better than the next. It's all about branding yourself, your worth ethics. So don't let anyone downplay what you want to do because maybe their business is not doing well. You need to go out there for yourself and figure it out. That's in any business. Speak it into existence. And so we have another question that says, do you need to have trucks before attending? The no, you don't have to have anything. Yeah. Bring yourself and bring a pen and a pad and learn and absorb and soak this game up because it's going to be and bring a sweat towel because you're going to it's going gonna, gonna to drench you with it. So, OK, so the courses are four weeks. So we have the, the in-person one and the four week one. So. Okay. Yeah. So before you even start it, we'll get started with your, you know, your business plan and, you know, what you want to do. We even help through the financing process. We work with somebody that helps with that. So we have like a really good process that we are excited to start. And um, more information will be, I'll be posting it. We're not fully ready to give all the details, but it will be starting within the next couple months. Oh, and I know that's the one that everyone's excited for because they want that handheld process. Right. And I want to go over one more time about the giveaway so we can make sure that y'all leave this live and go over to the uh, Truck It Right page and um, take advantage of the giveaway. Yes. Yeah, so to my ladies, we are giving two free tickets um, for our Orlando workshop, January 18th. Please go to Truck It Right on Instagram or Shanti Hoffman on Instagram. Tag a friend. A girl that you want to bring and just write one unique characteristic about yourself and because honestly that's like our last two spots and we wanted to just uh, empower the women because uh, you women are amazing you are beautiful you are strong and you are Queens we thank you for everything that you do. I'm going to go in and tag myself, y'all. So, so y'all better beat me to it. Okay. So, and I thank you all again for coming on today. I thank you so much for sh sharing your time with us. Thank you. It's an amazing show. I hope y'all have learned a lot. I know I have. And so, we don't have any more questions. Um, it's going to be some things that come on social media. I'm going to share uh, the questions and stuff. Maybe we can put some stuff together throughout the year for okay. people. And then we're going to, hey. I'll see you in March. And I hope to see everybody in March too, because it's going to be fun. You're going to see the other side of these truckers. <laughs> Absolutely. So y'all definitely sign up for the 2020 Connect. Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Truck it right, truck it right .com. This is the She Trucking Podcast. It was a live video podcast with Truck It Right. And we are so thankful once again to have them on the show today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And have a good night. Safe travels, everyone. And let me tell y'all one thing. If you don't know what she stands for, it stands for Sisterhood, Help and Empowerment in Trucking. Yes. God bless. Good night. 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 Good night.